In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to create animated titles with motion graphics. This is one of the new features of PowerDirector 18 or 365 that I think has lots of potential. Let me show you a quick clip that shows an example of this and then we'll get into the tutorial. If you want to create the kind of effect you just saw, how can you do that in PowerDirector 18 or 365? Well, I begin with a video clip on track number one, a nice scenic shot of a canyon. And now I'd like to add a title. So I go to my title room or I can press the F7 key on my keyboard. Now I see all content. There are two ways to get to the new category of animated graphics that we're going to use. You can either click the down arrow at the very top and use the slider to drag down and now there is a new category called motion graphics. Or if you want you can click the little blue right triangle on the left side of that same panel and drag down and we have motion graphics. Now this happens to tell me I have 44 to pick from which is nice to know. I'm going to close the side panel and here I have the collection of motion graphics now available to me in this version of PowerDirector. So what I'd like to do is take one of them. We won't take the same one we saw in our example just to make it different. We'll take this one. We'll take and drag it down to track number two. I'm going to widen it. Now widening it does not uh, change the time it takes for the graphics to work just the time the finished graphic is on the screen. So you can't affect the timing of the animation simply by widening it. What I'm going to do now is edit that. So I can double click on that. That will get me into my title designer. You automatically as a new user see this message on the screen. You are editing a motion graphics title the available editing options are limited and you can turn this off so you never see it again. That's a simple reminder that there's only so much you can edit in your title designer with the motion graphics and hopefully someday there'll be even more that you can do. But we'll just click on OK for now. And now if I play this without editing anything, I will see the defaults. These were the graphics that came in in this particular graphic object from PowerDirector. So let's say we want to change some of these and customize them to fit this particular uh, video clip. Let's see what can we change. Well if we look in the upper left corner we have a box that says select a title track to edit. I'm going to click on the down arrow and in this case I find that I have uh, three different tracks I can edit. I can change the text of either of the three. So let's do the make your videos with. Let's change that to see the Grand Canyon today. You notice what happens when I add the word today. It automatically resizes the text to fit the container. If I delete the word today, the word canyon is larger, which is what I think would be better. The other thing that I can control in the text area, once I have that, is the font. I have all the fonts that are native to my copy of Microsoft Windows, and I can pick any one that I want to do this. I can only change whether it's bold or not, or italic or not, or both. The other option I have is I can change the color of the font in the title. Maybe let's make this dark blue. And so I have See the Grand Canyon. Likewise, I can go to the next title, Par, Par Director, and we can change that to West Wind Tours. And that covers that. Again, I can change the color of the font, the font family. Let's make that a bright, that stands out really nice. 
The third one I can change, obviously, and this one is the third container for text. It says by Cyberlink, and I could put in maybe a website in, in dot com. So that's a nice little feature. The object settings here, I'm going to shorten the title area. The object settings control position and scale and aspect ratio and rotation. Now I can also use the mouse for the same thing. I can enlarge the entire effect, move it anywhere I want to around the screen, and I can also rotate it one of two ways. If I have the box at the top, I can click on the little green ball and I can cause it to be rotated that way. I can use the rotation numbers down here and I can maintain the aspect ratio, turn it off. If I turn it off, I can change the uh, scaling of the elements. I'll turn it back on. So these are the options that you have. And if I go and stop and play the title from the beginning, this is what we have. So in the next video, what I'd like to do is show you the options, if you're considering PowerDirector 18, of the, the 44 variations of this, so you can see if it would indeed be worth the upgrade for you to get the feature. I like what it does. I like how it adds uh, a lot of quality to it. And we'll look at the variants that are available in PowerDirector version 18 or 365.